Assalamu alaikum, The Daily Reminder. This is Rayyan Arab recording from Saudi Arabia. There are many people who see what is haram as halal. Not because their eyes can't see the difference. The eyes can see everything within existence, but it's because the hearts are blind. And it is not Allah Azza wa who blinds the heart. It's the person himself who blinds his own heart after putting himself in a state of denial after rejecting the truth. So he sees what is halal and he doesn't like it. But he sees what is haram and he loves it. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, أَفَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَتَكُونَ لَهُمْ قُلُوبٌ يَعْقِلُونَ بِهَا أَوْ آذَانٌ يَسْمَعُونَ بِهَا فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَلْ أَبْصَارِ وَلَكِنْ تَعْمَلْ قُلُوبُ الَّتِي فِي الصُّدُورِ Had they never journeyed through the land so that they have hearts to understand or ears to hear with. Verily, it is not the eyes but it's the hearts behind the chest that are blind. One day I saw a person who cheats, lies, listens to music and does many bad things. Things that don't please Allah. So I asked this person, when you plan to be straight? When you plan to be straight? The person said, when Allah guides me. When Allah guides me. Yes, salam. So if Allah doesn't guide you, then you will never be straight. You're going to continue doing what you're doing until you die doing what you're doing. You know, the problem with these people is that they don't think about death. And how could you not think about death? I mean, I could picture it right now. Some of us are going to be lying on the deathbed one day crying on the deathbed, hoping that we could have one more day to live, fearing that we may not even have one more hour. And those are the moments that we will remember the times that we committed all these bad actions. Those are the moments. You know Imam al-Shafi'i? Al Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah, when he was dying, when he got really sick, his friend came to visit him and he said, كَيْفَ حَالُكَ يَا إِمَامُ How are you, Imam? The Imam said, أَصْبَحْتُ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا رَاحِلًا I am waking up, Leaving this dunya. I mean, I woke up today, leaving this dunya. I'm also leaving my brothers, my friends and my brothers. I'm going to see my bad actions, my evil actions. And Imam al-Shafi'i is saying, I am going to see my bad actions in the Akhirah. And I don't know. Is myself, is, am I going to Jannah? Is my soul going to Jannah so I give it good news? Or is it going to the hellfire so I give it bad news? Those are the moments that you will remember these times when you used to com commit all these bad actions. And there will be no doctor to increase your lifespan. There will be no surgeon. There will be no electrician. There will be no nothing. That's it. When death comes, all reasons go. And nobody could help you at that moment but Allah. But when I sit down right here, I'm starting to ask myself, why would Allah be there for us when we are weak? Whereas He was there for us when we were strong, but we didn't want Him. Allah, now, no. Maybe when I'm 40, maybe when I'm 60, this is what's happening. You know, uh, Uthman ibn Affan, Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu anhu, the third Khalifa of Islam, he used to, when, when they used to mention the grave to him, or when he used to see the grave with his eyes, he would start crying. He had a long beard, and his beard would be soaked up with tears. And his friends around him would ask him, why are you crying? I mean, how come when we talk about paradise, you don't cry? And when we talk about the hellfire, you don't cry. But when we talk about the grave, or when you see the grave, you cry. He said, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, told me that after death, the first stage is the grave. And if it's easy, then what's after is easier. But if it's difficult, then what's after is more difficult. You see, death is sudden, like with Michael Jackson. You saw it on the news, so it's proved that the soul moves to a whole new life with this work. Without the kids and wife, with this work, with this salah and advice, to Allah it will rise. Three questions will be asked. If you answer, you will pass. If no answer, then wallahi, with the hammer you'll be smashed. We are many years behind as Muslims. Do you know why? It's because we don't follow the system of Allah. If we followed the system of Allah, believe me, we would not only be guided, but we would live the most brilliant lives compared to all other people. I now come to conclusion and I say, do you remember the last time you parked your car and you went to the grocery store, to the school or wherever you work and you walked out going back home, you, you, left the, you left your office or wherever you were and you were walking back to your car to go back home. If somebody came to you from behind you and did like this and shut your eyes so that you can't see where you're going, would you be able to find your car? No. Same thing with Allah's guidance. If you close your eyes to the truth and say, I'm going to live my life until Allah guides me, then you will never be guided. 
The only time you will be guided is if you search for the truth yourself. That is when Allah will guide you, when you want to be guided. I ask Allah Azzawajal to guide you and I, and I ask Allah Azzawajal to have mercy on us and to raise our ranks high amongst the rightly guided. Jazakumullahu khairan, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.